This week, no, <laughs> no, this fortnight is going to be about fandoms. My number one fandom is the Enneagram. If you don't know what that is, then you're probably among the majority. The Enneagram is a personality type system, which is completely and totally awesome. Most people are like, oh, I'm an ISTJ and I have no idea what that means. Uh, which doesn't make any sense because those things are stagnant. The Enneagram, however, does not um, assume that people don't change and that they're not progressive. The Enneagram talks about, um, okay, okay, <laughs> there are nine different personality types and they are um, basically hmm, categorized by their motivations. So for each of the nine personality types there is a specific key motivation that all actions are based upon. And it is diagrammed in a circle. I don't know if you can see that. For each type, you get the attributes of the two personality types before and after. So, I, for instance, am a four. So I can pick up the personality characteristics of both the three and the five. There is also the integration and disintegration points. It talks about um, how the personality changes, how the affect changes, and the behavior changes whenever a person is taking care of themselves emotionally versus not. So if for the integration disintegration points, if I am healthy, if I am being mindful of my emotions and I am working toward progress, then I will pick up the positive attributes of the two connection points, which mine are one and two. So I will get the positive attributes of the uh, personality types one and two. If I am letting myself go emotionally, if I'm not in a good place, then I'm also picking up the negative attributes of those two types. So the Enneagram breaks each personality type into also nine different levels of healthiness. So at the top you have extremely healthy, at the very bottom you have extremely unhealthy. Functioning at the highest capacity that you can. Um, and likewise with the bottom, you are at the absolute lowest, you're probably going to commit suicide or homicide or um, drug overdose, stuff like that. The reason that I like the Enneagram is that it does not assume that, like I said before, that people stay the same, and also does not assume that people are inherently just awesome and perfect. No, you have to work for what you've got. You know, if you're just, you know, not paying attention to yourself and you're not, you know, setting good boundaries, etc., you have codependent relationships, you're gonna get just gross and you're not gonna be healthy. But if you're counteracting that, if you're working toward, you know, making yourself a better person, you know, interacting with other people, not isolating, you're going to get healthier and healthier. And the Enneagram acknowledges that. I am the four, the individualist, which makes so much sense. Um, the reason I love the Enneagram is because it makes me special, which is one of my key motivations. <laughs> Um, but it talks about, you know, being self-aware and introspective and, you know, just talks about so many different things. Um, I found out about it from my high school math and science teacher who's also my mentor. The first time I read it, I started crying. I was like, people are not supposed to know this stuff about me. I was 16 years old and just sobbing in study hall, just freaking out. It also goes along to talk about different, like, um, notable people, different celebrities who have the same personality type. For instance, I have Jeremy Irons, Johnny Depp. Bob Dylan and JD Salinger, which is a pretty good spread. So overall, I am 100% in fandom love with the Enneagram for so many reasons that I can't even fit into a four minute video, much like everything else I've ever recorded. Um, if you have any questions or comments or you want me to type you, if I haven't already, then leave some comments in the doobly-doo or talk to me in person or via Facebook or however we communicate.